Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Greetings from Koh Samui. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you around the main road that goes through Lamai. I'm currently over here at Wat Lamai, which is the temple as you enter Lamai. Um, and I'm shooting this on my DJI Pocket 2. This is a new handheld camera that I just picked up yesterday. It's gonna be in 4K video. And yeah, enjoy this walking tour of the Ring Road in Lamai. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, we're starting over here at Wat Lamai. And we're gonna be walking this direction. So let's just wait for the traffic to pass. And I will cross the street here. Here we are. I usually make tours of either the beach road or the beach, but today I've decided to do something a little bit different and walk on the ring road instead. This is the French bakery across the street, La Fabrique. Really good place for coffee and breakfast in the morning. And yeah, this is the main road that goes through Lamai in 4K video. Wow, I never even really noticed this place typically. Looks like they repair cars here. Kind of interesting. And there's also some good restaurants across the street as well. So I think I'm going to cross here. Or maybe not. Too much traffic right now. Although not really. <laughs> it's pretty quiet. It is early in the morning, keep in mind. Right here we've got a gold shop. So if you want to buy gold, you can do so here. Next to a bank. This is the, uh, the government bank. You know because it's pink and they have ATM machines right here. Never go to this one though. And here they've got visa and work permit. So best way visa run service. They also do the border runs. You can set up your company, all this stuff through here. And here's a pest control business run by my friend Andrew, I believe his name is. Insurance broker right here. Cross over the river. And yeah, this is the town that I live in, in Koh Samui, just down this street here. It's about three minutes away on a motorbike. Currency exchange here if you need to exchange money when you enter. And here's the closest 7-Eleven right here on the side, on the corner. I go here almost every day. <laughs> Part of my morning routine. Muay Thai gym this way. There's a lot of Muay Thai gyms throughout Lamai as well. And this place is great for smoothies. So it's currently not open at the moment, but I usually come here for like a coconut smoothie and they, they have uh, food here too. Like uh, different Thai, Thai things, bao baos, that sort of stuff. Yeah, this place is great for smoothies, especially on a hot day. Let's keep walking. 
honestly I almost never walk through town I'm always on the motorbike but it is good exercise and this place is is joke so it's basically rice porridge soup I come here sometimes in the morning for breakfast it's like 40 baht for a bowl of joke which is a traditional uh, soup here in Thailand and they're open from 4 a.m. to 11 a.m. so this place is great Little cat here. Hey, buddy. Hello. Nice cat, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's continue walking. Another joke place right here, which is also very good. Hello. Yeah, in this video, we're just going to be walking and looking. This restaurant I never eat at, but it's like Myanmar traditional food here. So, if you like Burmese, hello. If you like Burmese food, you can eat there. And this one's also quite good too, but it's closed at the moment. Fruit shop right here where you can get, you know, nice mangoes. Looking pretty fresh for 80 baht. So yeah, they have a lot of fruits available here on the side of the road. Coconuts, pineapples, a little bit of something for everyone. Bananas. So yeah, and the fruit is always incredibly fresh anywhere you go. So yeah. And... Ooh. This next place is a 20 baht store. So, not everything is 20 baht, obviously, but you can get things for pretty cheap in here for around the house and kitchen appliances or kitchen, you know, things for the kitchen, that sort of thing. And it looks like they're actually unloading a truck right now of, with more stuff. Hello. <laughs> Very convenient. Here's a little vegetable shop, so if you need to get anything for for cooking, they've got a, most of the vegetables you need here. This guy looks like he's watering the vegetables right now. And they just put them in a bag right here for easy pickup. So yeah, pretty nice. Hello. <laughs> Next up is the Punch It Gym. So actually this is not the gym, it's the cafe. The gym is just a little bit further behind. Um, but yeah, this place is good if you're looking for healthy food. And yeah, almost never go in there to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's part of the gym. So the gym is just right behind here. And then you can come over here to have a, a nice meal afterwards. So yeah, let me just walk back here a little bit. I'll show you Punch It Gym. This is where they train Muay Thai. It's one of, the, I would say, one of the most popular gyms in Lamai, and maybe even on the island. So right here, this is the Punch It Gym. Honestly, I, I never practice Muay Thai, but I probably should. But yeah, there it is. And there's plenty of other Muay Thai gyms all throughout Lamai as well. So this is a great option for if you're looking to train Muay Thai. And then the cafe is just right next door. Punch It Healthy Cafe. And right next to that, we've got another 7-Eleven. This one is relatively new. I think it's been open for like maybe eight months, six months, something like that. So yeah, it's, it's very clean, nice inside. Let me just go inside real quick. So yeah, here it is. This is relatively brand new 7-Eleven. And yeah, as you can see, they've got pretty much everything you need in here. And most importantly, toasty right here. 
So this is one of the most popular uh, meals for foreigners <laughs> in particular at 7-Eleven. But I don't think I'm gonna get a toasty today. Let's continue the walking tour. Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah, it is a little bit cloudy today, but um, it has been cloudy recently. Nice thing is it's not quite so hot. Real estate company here. And obviously, you know, there's more across the street as well, but the majority of shops are on this side. There's also a clinic over here as well, which I've been to a few times because I was having some uh, medical issues. But yeah. And I'm just gonna continue walking until we get to Bang Rock Mini Mart, which is kind of like a little grocery store in Lamai. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Just showing you around Lamai Town on the main road. I must say I'm loving this new Pocket Osmo. It's super portable, very easy to hold, and it shoots 4K video. So I'm shooting this entire video in 4K, which will be a first for the channel. I normally only shoot 1080. You can't cross the road here without getting hit. There we go. Like I say, I don't normally walk around the Mai. I'm always on the motorbike. So, this is a bit of a change of pace. And most people only show the beach road or the beach. But almost never the ring road, so figured I'd try something a little bit different in this video. Hope you're enjoying. So this ring road goes around the entire island. I want to say it's like 53 kilometers long. And it connects everything on the island. So it's very convenient, easy to get around Koh Samui. You just hop on the ring road and go wherever you need to go. That's it. Pretty straightforward. I am starting to get pretty hungry, so probably get some lunch relatively soon here. This place is also great, Thai Kitchen, which I almost never eat here, but um, they have very, very good food. It's closed at the moment because it's still early in the morning. But yeah, that's a, that's a good restaurant in Lamai. And I see this place right here, Khan Bakery, which I've never even noticed before, to be honest. Looks like they've got baguettes and stuff like that. Hello. <laughs> Khan Bakery, maybe I'll check that out later. We're coming up on one of my favorite restaurants in Lamai, which is called Mr. Pong. Nice house right here on the ring road. Seem to be a lot of ambulances coming through here lately. Obviously, Lamai is pretty small. There's not a lot of things to do around here, I guess you could say. But I still love it. I've been living in Lamai for two years and counting. So, not too shabby. And it's a good location as well to get around to other parts of the island. The roads are very nice.
Keep in mind, it's still pretty early in the morning, so there's not really a lot going on. But it's fine for walking. I am starting to sweat quite a bit. Whew. Now we're coming up on Mr. Pong, otherwise known as Roti Patau, which is right here. This is one of my favorite restaurants. It's closed right now, uh, but we'll, I think it opens around like 11 or 12. And yeah, this ha they have really, really good Western Thai food, burgers, right here at Roti Patau. So I would show you around a little bit, but it's it's closed at the moment. So let's continue walking. And then right next to that, we've got Mr. Pong. He also has a motorbike rental shop. So if you need a motorbike while you're in Samui, this is where I would recommend renting from. Mr. Pong car and bike for rent. There's his phone number, WhatsApp. Um, yeah, they also rent cars as well. <laughs> cool. That's nice. They're, they're testing out a new motorbike right here. Great. Let's continue walking here. It looks like Mr. Pong is not in today. He's probably busy doing other things. He's a very, very busy guy. He runs some uh, successful businesses here in Lamai. Knows a lot of people on the island as well. And of course, right across the street, we have another 7-Eleven. And this road goes back to our house right here. So pretty convenient. Another restaurant right here, which I've never tried. I don't know what they have, um, but it looks quite nice. Right here. Pretty nice little Thai, Thai style restaurant here. I like this sign a lot. It says, keep calm and go to Thailand. That's kind of cool. <laughs> love it, I love it. It looks like they maybe also serve joke here, like the, the soup. Or possibly Hainese chicken. Oh, it looks like, yeah, Hainese chicken. So, they serve the Hainese chicken. You can actually see the, the dead chickens right there. But let's continue walking. Wood furniture store right here. Looks like they've actually got some pretty nice stuff in there. And another good option for a place to stay is Gina House, right here. Convenient location. Uh, they have apartments for rent. So that could be good if you're looking to stay in Lamai. Got a weed shop right here. There's plenty of them, they're everywhere. And now we're coming up on, last but not least, Bangrok Mini Mart. So they have one both in Lamai and also in Bangrok, close to the airport. This is it right here. Grocery store. They have stuff that you won't find at like the normal supermarket. So yeah, let me just stop in here real quick. I'll show you. This is the Bangrok Mini Mart. I need to cool down a little bit. Good morning. So yeah, here it is. And they've got like, you know, nice meat products, beers. It's quite small, but they've got a lot of good stuff in here. Great place. Okay.
and we can also take a left here to go down to the beach road this way to the beach road I guess I'll just walk down here a little bit why not if you walk down here you'll get to Lamai Beach like a kilometer from here and then also the beach road. There's a lot of restaurants, bars throughout here as well. And yeah, it is pretty quiet at the moment. There's not too much going on because it's still early in the morning. <sighs> More motorbike rental shops through here, massage shops as well bike rental, all sorts of stuff. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in Koh Samui sometime soon. Till the next one, take care, stay safe. Peace from Thailand.